We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the Chicago Cubs. Cubs baseball starts right now. Lincoln Cole out of Idaho will be the starter on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Now batting, Eddie James. Watch is fully in effect these days as he's potentially <laughs> closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. Winning the triple crown is really magical. Think about it. How many guys can hit for power, hit for average, and drive in runs? This guy's... And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Long throw to third. And he is in there. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well, and after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at, so you can say, hey, he's going to whole calendar week with getting at least one base hit, so there's a lot of positives going on right now. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. He's definitely stumbled out of the starting blocks here in the first, giving up a couple of base knocks in that walk. First innings are often some of the toughest for a starting pitcher. Gabriel. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Stand up right here. Only play is going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next it'll be the fleet-footed first baseman, Eddie James. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. It might be. It could be. It's gone. A home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Cubs move out ahead 2-1. to one. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to him. So coming to the plate, Jose Velasmo. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Before the 0-1, he'll check on first. Runner back safely. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. This is on the ground to short. Could be two. To second for one. On to first to complete the double play. Eddie James will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Line to the right side. And that'll get down out there near the wall. On the bag, on the bag, right here, on the bag. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit.
So here's the cleanup hitter, Brennan Davis. Oh, for one for him here in this one. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they'll tack on the run with the sack. It's now a 4-1 to one ball game. Always productive to score runs when you can, and that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Digging in once again, Gabriel Arias. No hits to this point. Gabriel. Runner goes for third. Hops this one up. And that's going to fall. A base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Boy, not the prettiest of swings, Dero. That looked a little bit from the Vladimir Guerrero book, but nonetheless, he got the job done. Yeah, a little choke and poke right there. He flipped the bat out there and was able to find a little empty green grass. Not pretty, but he'll take it. The right fielder, number 19. Standing in, Connie Major. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Scooped up. There's one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more on the. Striding in once again, Shervian Newton. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Shervian. Throw over to first, just keeping him close. Gray, base runner at first with one out. Put him away. Give him your best stuff. Here you go. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. And we got one out here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, third, five. To second for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Digging in and looking for more, Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last half bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Now this is on the ground a second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. So the error winds up not costing it. Now back to the top of the Mets order, digging in Rick Adamson. Here we go, boys. Adamson. Is on the ground over to first. Right to him. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Home half of the eighth straight. Well, that's win number 90 on the season for them so far, and they've been a force on the field all year long. And by the looks of it, they're not done yet. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. The Chicago Cubs with their 90th win best in the division. Lincoln Cole earned his ninth win of the year, permitting only two hits in six complete innings. Adrian Morejon wraps it up for the save, his 43rd of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the Chicago Cubs. The Cubs have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this. Justin Steele, the Mississippi native, will be on the mound in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? One of the things that jumps out, if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. 
one of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Marco Luciano. The 3 2 pitch. Ground to the right side. Fielded cleanly to second for one. Back to first. And great work by the pitcher hustling over to cover as he takes the throw for the 3 6 1 double play. Not what you expect from your three hole. At the plate, Eddie James, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. Goodbye, home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Cubs move out ahead two to one. I know height sights 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Next for the Mets, Kyle Isbell. Two hits in eight tries for the series. Kyle Isbell. Rounded to first, reined in, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Eddie James, he hit a two-run jack in his first at-bat. Going back to that last A-B, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, he might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. And a diving effort, but the ball kicks off the right fielder's glove. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Brennan Davis. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Runner's going. Honey pops it up. And that'll drop into no man's land out there for a base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint, Dero. You get the first two out of the inning. The next guy doubles, and then you give up a two-out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, and you want to talk about... So striding forward now, now Josh Steven. Josh Steven. Now the three-and-two pitch. On the ground to second base, this could be two. One there. On to first. Not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. Stepping into the box, Eddie James, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Base hit into right center. And that'll score the tying run. We're back to even four apiece. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Coming to the plate now, Brennan Davis. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. David. Sent on the ground out to second. And it's in time to get him. But they do grab the lead on the run that scored away from the play. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does. Last half of the seventh here. And next it'll be the fleet footed first baseman, Eddie James. Eddie. Belted high and deep into right center. A ball that's carrying. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. 
So there it is. He's hit for the cycle. Oh, man, he's been just awesome to watch on this one, guys. I mean, a cycle is such a rarity, and it's one of the coolest things you can witness happening in a single game. He's going to be the talk of baseball for a few days after this one. The next cub up, Brennan Davis. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right now. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Now a bunt attempt here. Ready for another shot now. Christopher Morrell. And their runners at the corners now. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news, a single probably drives in a couple of runs. And a swing and a miss, he struck him out, and the go-ahead run stays at third with one big out on the scoreboard now. So a crucial moment here in standing in, Ivan Casto, as he's presented with the bases loaded situation in a tie ball game. Swing and a fly ball. This ought to at least get the go-ahead run in. Steven is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. Now the relay home. The throw's offline. He's safe. And they've taken the lead here in the seventh. Hey, putting together good at-bats late in the games can really help out. And how about this sack fly right here? Good at-bat that leads to his... New inning set to get underway. And digging in is the outfielder, Josh Steven. Here now the 2-2. Right side. He's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Riding in, Eddie James. He singled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw in time at first for out number two. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. This one comes to a close today at an 8-6 to six final. The Cubbies jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Emerson Fields wins out of the bullpen his ninth victory of the year. Adrian Morejon records the save his 44th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon.